Hi guys, this is Alexis from Reflections of a Bookaholic and I'm here with another plan with me. This week I am planning for the week of January 31st through February 6th and I am using a kit from a shop called Paper Focus. I found her on Etsy last year. Weirdly, I did not show the kit in the pages to the kit when I started the video, when I started to film. And is it, I mean, just as a double whammy, I didn't show it at the end either. Usually I show the leftover stickers, but for whatever reason, I didn't do it for the beginning or the end. I, I don't I don't know what was going on in my brain. However, I did haul this kit back in March of last year, if you want to see it. If you just want to see the format and just see what it looked like, especially I like I tend to like to see what all the full boxes look together before they end up on the planner page. That is in a haul from last year of March, and I will link it below. I also took the opportunity this week to challenge myself and go back to my old planning style, and I did not plan with any foil. I took the opportunity to pull out the, the swatch overlays that I got from Girl Boss Anna. I hauled that and posted that last week and used also the date overlays on top of the swatch overlays and I did that for the date cover so I could kind of skip the foil and I filmed and planned the rest of the spread without any foil just using my sticker collection that I had before I started the deep dive, dive into foil and I really wanted to see how I felt about it mostly because I've been getting a little bit bored with doing the same thing, feeling like I wasn't as excited about some of these parts, even though the kids have been just gorgeous. So I was just kind of curious on how I would feel to go back and plan without foil and if I would feel any differently. Um, this was good because I have a lot of kids that don't have foil and usually my plan is to just add foil and really just spruce it up and make it shiny and fun and that's still my plan to be honest I I think that's entirely possible with all of the embellishments and overlays and everything we have out there with foil that I need to use up in my collection but for this one for whatever reason I said hey let's just go without so the bottom washi, just getting to the spread, the bottom washi in this kit is a thick bottom washi that's actually cut in half so that you don't have to use the whole thing. So I just took half of it and used that for the bottom washi. And then I pulled in some Simply Gilded bows. I love this washi. I love the fa fact that I could pull, on, pull in the tone on tone pink and stay true to the no foil in this kit. It wouldn't have bothered me to use foil <laughs> in bringing in the bottom washi like out of my using washi out of my collection. It wouldn't have bothered me but I thought it was cool that I didn't have to. I could have also used some of the washi from my Michael stash of washi and it didn't have any foil but this was kind of like just a neat opportunity um, that I felt really good about. I then took the other strip that came in the bottom washi. Remember, it was a big, it was a thick bottom washi that was already cut in half as part of the kit. And I just used half of the bottom. I took the other half, cut that in half, and cut, cut down headers. I believe the headers that came in the kit were um, glitter headers, and I didn't want to do that. I then from there went to the sidebar and use the sidebar stickers that came in the kit. And after that, I did move to putting down the full boxes. So I placed all the full boxes where I wanted them to go. And then I felt pretty good and felt that I had my base. The other decision that I needed to make, of course, was what to do with decorating the date covers, whether I would decorate them or not. My old planner style, I didn't really do it not very often it had to be something really special going on for me to do that 
but I decided to go ahead and decorate above the date covers. I'm not quite sure if I'd do that on camera. I don't think I'd do that on camera. So I zoom out, this is my spread, and then I do some decorating off camera, and this is the base, and it's ready to go. So in my haul from last week, I did haul some florals that I bought in on white premium matte paper, and also the same florals in the transparent matte paper. And one of the florals that I hauled in the last video, I did pull in both the premium matte paper, the white premium matte paper florals and the um, transparent matte paper. I felt that it was very fitting to bring in the florals because it really fit this kit. And I wanted to play with the different papers a little bit to see how they would come out. So this was just very much uh, an adventure spread. I'm jumping in saying, hey, how's this gonna work? How's it feel not to have foil? And I had a lot of fun. I was kind of rusty with even my writing. <laughs> I couldn't rely on any of the scripts that I had and knowing that I think I, you know, overthought it a little bit. I was a little rusty, but I really enjoyed going back to my collection and pulling in some of the more colorful icons that I have because I wasn't using foil and I wasn't going for the more elegant look that sometimes happens with spreads that have foil in them. And because of that, I, I really did enjoy going into my sticker collection and using a bigger variety of stickers and more colorful variety of stickers. So to start off, I just noted uh, at the top with a sticker from, um, once more with love. Ooh, just kind of had like a brain, brain fart. Uh, a, a sticker, a munchkin, gosh, a munchkin from once more with love, lo, a munchkin from once more with love, noting that I didn't go to bed until 4.30 a.m. It was the end of the month and I wanted to get in some billing. I put down a half box. I put some floral down in the hat box. I wanted it to kind of look like it came on the hat box just like that. And just noted that I had both an emergency hearing and a return and monitor hearing, a contested return and monitor hearing. That went relatively well. Then I used one of the checklists from the kit. It's kind of a very different checklist, a flag looking thing, and noted a few things that I got done that day. I had mom duty that morning or afternoon mostly because my husband had some really important work meetings and so that meant I was kind of needing to take off work a little bit just to watch Z because he's not in daycare yet that's coming soon I ate some fettuccine and I, then after that I had some calls with clients and some work emails we attempted to play some phase 10 with Jacob but he's not quite old enough for phase 10 it's one of our favorite games and then I ended um, with more work and ended the night playing Roblox with Jacob. Roblox, I mean, Jacob is typically not allowed to play Roblox or video games on the weekday, um, but I surprised him and allowed him to play and he played with me. I did use, I'm still on Monday, <laughs> sorry. I did use florals, the transparent florals with the work script at the bottom. And I really like how that looks. I really think that the transparent florals look best in that kind of way. But the thing about florals, when they are transparent like that, it's very hard to layer them because they don't hide. You can still see behind them and it just comes off a little weird. So right here, when I'm noting Jacob's second dose, that's transparent and it looks good because they're right next to each other. But the options of what you can do with the transparent mat florals they're just it's a little more limiting so at the bottom of Wednesday I do pull in the transparent matte florals once again and it probably should have been a place where I pulled in the florals on premium matte paper so I write in and jot down a few things that I got done that evening and I didn't have I didn't think that spaced through very well, but you can write over the transparent matte florals fine without it, it even looking like I did. It just looks like a background. So I think I've said this before, but transparent matte stickers are really good when you want it to look like it already came on the stickers, or if you really want it to take a back seat in a less busy way. 
So I'm continuing to play with it. I don't know if I will keep buying transparent floral, transparent matte florals. I think what I really want to do is have some in my collection that are very um, general, like very mm, neutral and can go with lots of situations and then stick with buying premium matte um, florals for my spreads. That, that's my thought right now. So we're all the way on, we're, we're on Wednesday. I think I said Wednesday before when it was Tuesday, but we're on Wednesday and I just noted that um, my husband overslept again and I use a sticker from um, Bubble Bear Studios. I don't think she has Mona anymore. I think she's called Mona and I really miss those. I, they're one of my favorite stickers from that shop and I don't think she has them anymore. anymore. And that's the look I was, I had when I, realized that he overslept again and that Jacob was going to be very late to school so I helped get Jacob dressed and get them going um because the day started late and then I used in that coffee cup sticker from the coffee monsters co and just kind of noted that I kind of canceled everything for the day um there was just a lot going on and there was some weather situations that were coming up and they rescheduled Jacob's, his surgery. He needed to have a surgery on his tongue and they rescheduled it. So I just kind of canceled everything so that I could get everything done and pick up all of his medicine and make sure um, we had what we needed. And so at the end of the day, he had a surgery. It went really well. And then we moved to Thursday. So on Thursday, Jacob had another snow day and I used a half box to note that and bring in a emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. Oh gosh, you guys. So I've got, I'm staying up late to do this voiceover. I don't redo voiceovers, but now I've got Jackson whining, my dog, <laughs> and Jacob had a nightmare. So they're both just sitting here looking at me while I do this voiceover. So uh, yes, let me finish this. So I put in the divider that came with the kit. I think I end up switching them out and I move them. And then I bring in a pillow. Where is that pillow from? It's from Sweet Ava's Paper. I just looked that up. So then I move some things down a little bit so I can make room just to note that uh, we needed to keep up with Jacob's med. So we didn't want him to be in pain. So we set our alarms and made sure that we got up and gave him his medicine on a regular basis. Then I put down a checklist just to note some work that I got done. It was a snow day pretty much for everyone. Even though we we're virtual, the courts kind of canceled everything, which is kind of weird. But I think this is kind of flashback of a flashback or a result of last year when I when we had our big snowstorm and they turned off the grid and no one had power and or internet for a week. And I think they were just trying to be extra careful in case communication sat down. This tends to happen when, you know, we kind of overdo it a little bit when it comes to snow and ice in Texas. So on Friday, we had another snow day and there was not even any snow. And so that was kind of funny. Jacob was off school, which worked out because Jacob was actually going to miss school for these two days anyway, because he had surgery. Um, but now it didn't count against him because everyone was off school. I just noted with a cute little uh laptop from Sweet Bean Plans that we had a family team meeting and I had just had work to do. One of the things I can say about this week is it wasn't very difficult to plan without foil or embellishments. It made, it, it didn't, I thought it would make for, I thought it would make for faster planning, but it didn't because I, I really didn't know what to, I wanted to do. I was in my head a lot. But what was difficult was not really the foil, but using an older kit meant that it didn't have a lot of the size boxes that I'm used to using and the size boxes that I actually prefer. So not very many, if any, third boxes, um, not many squares or boxes that didn't fit the width of the entire box. So I did kind of have to go to my collection to get kind of the looks that I was looking for. And I had to be kind of creative to, to just kind of make use of the white space in the way that I've become accustomed to and I really like. So the foil wasn't a problem. I would definitely do this again. But 
so even like this box right here there were two of them and that was all um it didn't fit the whole width of the column <laughs> which i like <laughs> jacob's looking at me you can see it's okay you can read <laughs> um and that's that's what i like i miss those kind of boxes so what day are we on friday so on friday i did pull in this uh box from the kit just to note that i had a visit out of town and uh, used a sticker from love shira even though her shop is closed i really miss it and i hope that she eventually comes back sorry jacob sneezing in the background i think i'm gonna i think he has allergies i'm gonna have to take care of that later so on sunday um i had originally moved that divider from thursday and i'm putting it on sunday just because i like the look of it i use a flag sticker and that coffee cup is from the kit just to know that i made breakfast for the boys i put down that flag checklist to jot down a few things that i did i layered a floral underneath it to give it an interesting or different look i'm not quite sure how i feel about it and just noted some things that i got done i put a half box at the bottom to make sure that i had room and then i put down a one of the eyeglass sticker with a bow from bookish planning i think her shop is closed as well just noting that i'm still using the eye drops and taping my eyes shut then i use that time sticker which i think is from starfish and frog um, i'll link that below and just noted that i needed to submit by billing so that's it for this week i zoom out i don't talk about a lot of stickers i didn't i don't feel like i use that many and one of the things is about using very old stickers is a lot of times it's not available in shops or the shops are closed. So I'm sorry about that. I will link the open shops below and I'm zooming out so you can see the entire spread. I do a little vid wiggle, even though there's no foil. I don't know why I did that, but definitely let me know in comment below what you think about the spread, especially the no foil. I'll see you next week, probably back with foil. Thank you. Bye.